Hi everyone, it's Yvonne and welcome back to my channel. Just wanted to say hi to everyone and I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, mine was pretty cool. I had actually two Thanksgivings. So first uh, Thursday night I was home with my family and then Sunday I was able to go to my best friend Millie's house and we had a little get together with her dad and her family, her brother, her sister, and all of our kids. It was a lot of fun. And uh, so, you know, it was great because we don't really get to see each other too often. She came in from Pennsylvania and uh, our kids get, you know, to play together, which is rare. So that was a lot of fun. So, you know, Millie, I love you. And uh, so today's video is going to be... Uh, a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, let me grab something. I wanted to show you guys what came in the mail today. I'm so excited. My business cards came. So these came finally today. So excited about that. So I finally got those today. Really excited about that. Um, so that was quick just to get that out of the way. And then the other thing I wanted to do was to revisit our, our last video about foundation. And a point I want to make here is that although, yes, this is my channel, this is really our channel. This is a journey that I want us to take together. Um, you know, I have said it before and I'll say it a million times, I am not a makeup artist. I don't pretend to be. I don't proclaim to be. And I want you guys to understand that if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, that I want you to voice them to me. Um, so, with the last video, uh, some people felt that it was rushed. And although that was my intention, um, I don't want the videos to feel like they're rushed. It was meant to be a shorter video, but I don't want them to feel rushed. So, one of the concerns with the last video was, um, with that being the foundation video, was, um, I, I, I suppose that I hadn't given enough information. Now, one of the reasons I didn't give enough information is because, um, and this is before I even started the YouTube channel, uh, a few of my friends have asked me, you know, Yvonne, how do you pick a foundation? And I'm going to be honest here, I can't answer that for you. I don't really know how. Um, but I have a really hard skin tone to pick foundation for. So because I have such a hard time with it, it's really hard for me to guide other people on that process. I'm very fair, but I do have an olive undertone. So when I go to pick a foundation myself, Oftentimes, the very, very fair foundations, when I put them on, they're too pink on me. Or if I try to pick the ones that have the olive undertone, even the lightest ones in those shades look orange on me. So, I have a really hard time finding foundation. And I'm not going to buy two different foundations to mix it because I'm just stubborn like that. Um, and I'm not going to pay for a custom one because who has that kind of money? So... You know, it, it just, it becomes a pain in the behind. So, I'm going to talk to you about how I finally found my foundation. And again, even it's not a perfect match, but it's the closest thing I've come to. So, I did stress to you in my last video that the one I've been using is the Revlon Color Stay. And it's for Combination Oily Skin in shade 220 Natural Beige. So, this is the foundation. I'll sh let me see if I can... It's hard to see because the writing is so light. There we go. Okay, so this is the shade. Now, this is supposed to be a dupe for Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is maybe $9 a bottle. Don't quote me on that because I don't remember. But I, I would say give or take $9. Drugstore foundations are usually around that. Uh, and the Estee Lauder is $36 a bottle, $38 a bottle. I'm not spending that. Love it, but I'm not spending that. So, here's the deal. What I did was I went to Sephora, and they have a service now that they call Color IQ, okay? In the past, 
I'd been foundation matched, I can't even tell you, 15, maybe 20 times, okay? I'm not exaggerating there. I had so many times, even in Sephora, I had gotten foundation matched for Makeup Forever Foundation, um, in the past in Macy's for Clinique, for MAC, for um, Estee Lauder in the past, for, uh, what other foundations have I had? I've had Chanel foundation. I've had so many foundations and none of them matched me. Um, and it just gets one costly, two annoying, and just frustrating because you're like, what do I do? So, why did I go back to Sephora? Well, here's the thing. Color IQ, what they do is they have this new service and basically Color IQ, they take this little, I don't know, wand thing and they put it on your face three different spots. I don't know. It could be anywhere they choose. The makeup artist there will choose according to your complexion because everybody has, you know, uneven skin tone. So they'll pick a spot on your neck, maybe your cheek, maybe your forehead, whatever. And the computer averages out those three spots. And the average between those three spots is your complexion. And it'll give you the closest match possible. And then according to that shade that it comes up with, it will go through the Sephora database and tell you all of the shade matches. Okay? So then in the Estee Lauder foundation, I was a shade called, I don't know the number, but the name of the shade was Rattan, R-A-T-T-A-N. And then I went on YouTube and I literally typed in Estee Lauder Double Wear Rattan Dupe. And I looked for maybe three or four videos and I waited until I came across somebody that uses Estee Lauder Double Wear but also uses this. And when I found out, found someone that uses the Estee Lauder Double Wear but also uses this, obviously they know their shade, okay, I went and bought me this shade and it works just fine. And that's my suggestion to you ladies. Go get color matched, okay, pick up, you know, if it's Estee Lauder or a different expensive foundation shade, look up the dupe for that expensive foundation and you can find yourself a drugstore alternative for that foundation. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but if you don't want to spend $40 on a bottle of foundation, which I sure as hell am not going to do, it's, it's a way to do it. Um, if you want to spend the $40 on a bottle of foundation, go right ahead. I mean, I will suggest that if you're going to spend the money on foundation, on, on, on a makeup product, it would be your foundation. I cannot wear expensive foundations because they break me out period. Um, Estee Lauder is the only one I've seen so far that doesn't do that. If I put on MAC foundation within 10 or 15 minutes I'm breaking out. Like I, I get like around my neck here I start to itch. So there's something, I don't know if it's because they add perfume in some of their foundations. I'm not sure what it is. I think that's what it is but certain foundations, the high ends, I can't wear them. Some people are just sensitive to certain things, so I find that the drugstore ones work better for me. And um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to add on to my foundation video. My apologies for not, you know, adding more into it last time. But like I said to you, this is what this channel is about. I want you guys to talk to me and I want to be able to hear your concerns and hear your opinions and hear your requests, you know, put them in the comment bar below. That's what that's for. Um, and if you need any help, you know, if you know that you wear an expensive foundation and you just can't figure it out, ask me for help. I'll try to help you the best I can, I, even if I'm looking for a dupe for you. I have no problem assisting you in that. So, um, you know, I, I can't think of anything else right now, but like I said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment bar below and I'll do my best to get to them, okay? Thank you, bye.